Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in this video I would like to show you how you can uh, improve search uh, in your uh, SharePoint environment, specifically by uh, adding um, various company locations. And now this trick is probably best uh, if you are maybe a part of a little bit, uh, you know, large organization when you have where you have offices in uh, different, um, you know, cities, perhaps even countries, and you want your users to quickly find the information about those uh, offices, uh, the specific address, and maybe some other information about those uh, locations. So let me first show you how this works. So let's say I'm new to the organization and uh, I'm searching. I know that we have an office in Atlanta uh, and I just need to find out the information about the address, exact address of that uh, particular office. Um, so I am on this main SharePoint start page, and of course I type in. I can type in uh, various, you know, keywords. But look at this. I type in the uh, word Atlanta, and of course it gives me, you know, various results, maybe documents, some other items that match this particular keyword. But if you notice. Um, you know, the number one result is actual information I was looking for. Uh, Atlanta office and the address, and it gives me a little bit, uh, you know, uh, a small map as well. Uh, let's say I now uh, I'm searching for information on the main office, maybe, you know, headquarters, right? So uh, I type in uh, main office. Uh, look at this. Now it gives me a completely different address in Boston for the headquarters. Uh, so let me show you how to uh, set this up. It's actually uh, pretty uh, easy, pretty straightforward. Uh, so yeah, let me show you how to do that. So for that, you do need to be the admin uh, in your tenant uh, because we are going to be altering global search. Uh, so we need to navigate to the uh, admin center. This is, of course, a Microsoft 365 uh, admin center. And you have uh, various admin centers for different applications in here. Uh, the one we need, actually, we need to click on all admin centers. Uh, the one we need is search and intelligence. All right, so this is where we can customize the search experience. Uh, now, I actually uh, recorded a number of uh, videos um, on this uh, search and intelligence center because uh, just like we can, uh, you know, we can uh, set up the various locations and um, the feature I'm about to show you, we can also set up, you know, different, um, you know, acronyms and bookmarks and essentially point people uh, to, to various, um, you know, articles and resources based on specific keywords they typed in. So feel free to check out those videos. Uh, but the one I'm going to show you right now is location. So uh, if you click on the answers um, tab over here and then on the locations tab on the left, you will notice all these different locations um, that you can set up. Essentially, uh, this, um, um, you know, promoted results. That's what it is. Uh, now, uh, you can add locations. By default, of course, it will be empty um, and you can add a new location. But I already, uh, you know, populated it with information. So let me show you uh, how this works. So remember uh, this Atlanta uh, office that I was looking for. So here it is. Here it is. And essentially, I already populated it with the information. But let me show you uh, how this works. Uh, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty uh, straightforward. You just literally fill in the uh, uh, the blank fields in here. So you have to provide the name uh, for the location. Uh, specify the country. Now the address. This is the most important thing. This actually, ha uh, you know, needs to be the actual address. Um, yeah, you know, with the GPS coordinates, because why? Because that's how the, the map, it relies on Bing maps uh, to, to render the map. And then under the keywords, um, uh, you, this is where you specify uh, what kind of keywords will trigger this result. And uh, so remember, I typed in Atlanta office, but this happens also to be a sales office. So I could just type in sales office, for example. Uh, and uh, I would get the same result. Um, so yeah, you can type in multiple keywords in here. Uh, the reserved keyword is uh, kind of, I mean, so the, the, the regular keywords, they can be shared among multiple locations, but you can only have one reserved keyword. So uh, for example, um, you know, if I type in something, uh, something in here, uh, like Atlanta, uh, it will only show me one result, one dedicated result. 
all right so you can um, um you know those co could be shared in other words those regular you know keywords over here that's the key difference those regular keywords they can be shared among multiple you know locations but uh this one can only belong to one result so hopefully that makes sense and um yeah i already set this up so uh, let me show you the other result uh, the other result over here, so for the headquarters. So essentially, yeah, you see uh, when I typed in, um, you know, main office, um, my Boston result was uh, triggered, but I could also type in any of those other keywords, uh, maybe headquarters. If somebody types in headquarters, uh, this result would be triggered or company address, you see. So again, you know, um, uh, you just specify the keywords uh, that, um, um, you know, that would trigger this particular result. And, um, you know, like I said, by default, uh, by default, uh, of course, the list uh, will be empty, uh, but uh, you can add your own locations. You could also import, um, um, you know, if you have a, a long, very long list of uh, locations, you can also upload them through Excel, uh, but probably uh, quite, you know, it's also probably uh, pretty easy to, to do it manually uh, through this uh, interface. After you add the locations, it might take up to 24 hours. So when you go uh, back and, uh, you know, execute a search, you're not going to get results right away. It might take uh, up to um, 24 hours for, uh, for those to propagate. So don't be surprised if you don't see any results right away. Uh, but uh, yeah, once you set this up, um, uh, remember the sales office, right? Uh, this was one of the keywords for Atlanta location. Um, and uh, yeah, it triggered that particular result. And um, essentially, um, you, know, you know, this is it. Uh, and um, I really find this feature quite useful. Once again, uh, for some of my clients that have multiple offices, uh, this is just a nice way uh, to uh, to populate uh, those pieces of information. And since many users rely on search to find documents, to find any information within your intranet, uh, within SharePoint, uh, this is just another great way to, to optimize uh, the search results and make them a little bit more uh, user-friendly. Uh, so that's all I wanted to share in this uh, video. Hopefully you found it uh, informative and useful. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog. SharePointMaven.com as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.